I believe creating new desk setups is sort of a passion for me, but one thing that I've recently discovered I enjoy as much is interior design. When I arrived to this new home a few months ago, I created a very basic desk setup so that I can work from home, and it was a bit bland. But I've lived in this space for quite some time now, being there every day of the week, and bit by bit, I added personality to this desk setup, but also to this whole office space. I'm definitely not an expert and will improve over time, but I'm still happy with the results I got. I tried to go with sort of a mid-century modern aesthetic mixed with your typical tech office, as I did work in a very beautiful office prior to this, and this is what I came up with. So let me give you a tour. So I'll get the desk set up out of the way first, I won't go over every little detail as I did in a past video of mine, I'll focus instead on the stuff that changed. So, first noticeable change, I clamp my dynamic microphone and its arm on the side of the desk. I only connect an interface when I need it, which is when I record those voiceovers you're currently listening to. Then I replace my monitor stock stand with this simple arm. I like that it gives me a bit more space on my desk. I also started reusing this laptop stand from Uppercase Design, one of the best looking stands in my view. It's not adjustable in any way, but it's still way better than having my laptop directly on my desk. I also switched to one of my custom mechanical keyboards that I've featured on the channel in the past. It's not the best fit aesthetically with the rest of the room, so I will likely replace it with another keyboard of mine, but for now, it works well and still looks amazing in my view. I also added this little coaster from Grovemade. It's made from cork and linoleum and works exactly as expected for my daily cups of coffee. And finally, to the microphone, I started using this Cinco D30 condenser microphone for my Zoom meetings. It's mounted using an Elgato solid arm. This mount is usually meant to be clamped to a vertical pole, but it can be clamped to a desk as well. But back to the mic, it was advertised as USB-C compatible with a digital connection to devices like phones and laptops, but it's not exactly that. The audio output is USB-C on the microphone, but it converts to a 3.5mm jack for some reason. So I have to use USB-C for power and the headphone output connected to a 3.5mm to USB-C audio adapter for it to work. It does work decently well, but the sound quality isn't as great as I was expecting, but I'll let you make your own mind with a sound test. Alright, so this is a sound test of the Synco D30 condenser microphone. I'm currently using its analog output, connecting it to a 3.5mm to USB-C audio adapter. And now this is a sound test with the Logitech Screamcam's built-in microphones, so let me know down below which one sounds better. Also worth noting that the Streamcam doesn't perform super well here. I believe it's because of the black wall. It tries to crank up the brightness and ends up overexposing my face, which doesn't look super nice. All right, now to the actual room. So to the side of my desk, I added these two shelves from Grovemade. Quick note here that I actually mix and match their color combos as the maple shelves are usually offered with natural cork anchors, while the black anchors come with the walnut shelves. So to achieve the same result, you need to order both the walnut and maple variants. But don't worry, I did put to use the walnut and natural cork combo of shelves in another room in my house, and I think they look pretty good like this too. So yeah, I would love if Grovemade offered these alternative color combos, especially the maple and black one, as I think it looks amazing. It matches with my accent wall, my desk, and the staircase that's also in this room. On those shelves, I added some prints that I bought on Etsy. They're just digital files and I got them printed at my local Costco. I also added this Polaroid camera that we got at work as a gift and I think it makes for a decent little decoration item, matching with the colors in this room. Then I got two succulents in concrete pots for a little touch of nature. But going back to the prints, I also added two other prints on the wall in IKEA frames that I already had on hand. Again, same technique here, bought the digital files on Etsy and printed them locally to save a bit of money. Now to the other things on the walls, these are actually acoustic panels. They're filled with sound absorbing material and the frames are then wrapped in fabric. They're from Acoustic Panels Canada and you've seen some of them in the past at my previous place, while some of them are new, like those horizontal panels near the drum set. I set these up to reduce the echo in this room for my video conference calls at work. The floors, being polished concrete, don't really help on that front. But with these panels, there's a considerable difference. They're made in Canada and relatively affordable compared to other similar solutions. 
All the panels in this room are from their Pro line, which means the backs are covered with fabric, and that fabric is also higher quality than their other lines with more colors available. I think they also make for okay wall decoration, especially if you're going with a theme, but enough talking, here's a little sound comparison with and without the panels. Alright, so this is a sound test in this room, bare bone with no acoustic treatment, so as you can probably hear, it sounds pretty bad. What I'm gonna do is add acoustic panels and also this rug that I just received, so hopefully it sounds better after that. Alright, so different lighting conditions, but whatever. Uh, I added the rug as well as the seven acoustic panels on the walls, so it should sound a little bit better, less echoey. Uh, we're still getting a bit of echo from the staircase, but in this room, I would say it's pretty good. Now to the lighting, I got those Govi hexagon panels on the walls. I got two sets of them, and they're pretty cool. You can sort of go with your own design or use one of the suggested options. As with other Govi products, they can be controlled with the app where you can pick individual colors for each panel or even go with preset animations, which are pretty cool. It really sets the mood at night. The app is not perfect, sometimes light do not respond if they're trying to connect via Bluetooth and the scheduling feature has a few bugs, but for the price, I think they're pretty good. I've also added a Govi Lyra light that I had in a previous setup of mine. It's kind of the same thing, but in a corner lamp format. So you get amazing shades of white, multiple colors can be displayed at once, you also get animations, and the quality is great. Finally, I've also reused desk lamps that I've had in the past. These lamps are both from Tommins, they're made from real wood and metal, and they have LifeX bulbs, which I have set to the day and dusk feature, so their temperature and intensity vary during the day, kind of following the sunrise and sunset. This is pretty nice in a work environment. One of those lamps rests on a media unit that I also already had. It's supposed to be a TV stand, but I think it looks pretty good on its own. It's made from solid wood here in the Montreal area. I added some edifier speakers on top, which do match pretty well with those side panels being made of a similar species of wood. And then I also added a small plant in a pot that I found at Ikea. Okay, so another passion of mine, at least, that I used to really enjoy is music. When I started university, I no longer had the time nor the space to keep all the gear I had, so I sold most of it. I used to have a pretty dope home recording studio. Now, this new room felt like the perfect place to bring back and display some of those instruments that I really liked playing. So I bought a cheap but pretty decent electric guitar maybe like a year ago, and I added this wall mount to have it displayed at all time and easy to grab. But the main piece of gear is definitely this Roland VAD electronic drum set. This specific line by Roland is meant to imitate the look of acoustic sets while still being fully electronic, which I really like as I can play without annoying the rest of the household and I can also play along songs. I think it looks amazing. E-drum sets usually look more like toys than anything, but this one doesn't. I was able to snag it used from Facebook Marketplace and saved a bit, it was in amazing condition, so I'm super happy with my purchase. Alright, there are a couple items left that don't necessarily fit in one category, and here they are. So, I got this fat boy beanbag here. I didn't really have the room for it in the past, but now that I do, it's actually pretty cool as a furniture piece. My partner and I use it whenever she comes by to have a little chat, or I use it to rest my feet on it when I feel lazy. I also bought a rug from Rogable. This is a washable rug, although I haven't tried that yet, but I really like the look, kind of fitting with that mid-century modern vibe, and I do plan to get a lounge chair and coffee table to match. In fact, I got the lounge chair since I filmed most of the b-roll, and I think it matches super well. Just gotta pick up that coffee table now. I also have a few additional plants, so this little money tree on the floor. I actually have to move it elsewhere, as my cat likes to chew on its leaves. And then I got this hanging pot too, which adds a bit of greenery and it's getting a ton of light near those windows, so hopefully it lives for a while. Alright, so that's it for today. This room is still a work in progress, I do hope that I can make another of those kinds of videos in the future to show the progress, and I'm definitely looking for your feedback, so leave it down below if you have any. I do hope this can inspire some of you to decorate your own setup the way you want it, and if you do, feel free to post pics or video links in the comments. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you really like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.